I currently have a hole in my dining room ceiling. since the last time I posted. Just in case you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Carrie. I make really glam and slightly ratchet content here online, and I've really been trying to upload this vlog for the past couple of weeks. My life has been a little, a little busy, okay? All good things though. Last time I think you guys saw me was when I was coming back from New York. Um, I had a great trip, but I'm realizing now I need to do a better job of really fully planning ahead if I wanna get content when I'm traveling because I also want to be more present, but, these moments are giving and she needs to capture them. So I came back from New York, I filmed my vlog, I went shopping, I kind of like got into a little bit of a routine, but then I was catching up on like different work things. Good morning from me and my son. Right now I am partially getting ready for work, so I'm just doing a quick beat, but I'm also getting ready because um, in the middle of the afternoon I actually have to go meet uh, a med spa, a plastic surgery center. I am not planning on getting any surgery done. I might start working with them in terms of creating content on different services that they provide. That'll be interesting. Um, and then I have other stuff to do, okay? So if you watch my last one, you already know this five minute beat that she got going on. Also, I think I might have to start doing makeup with Chester on the chair now. Cause he is so nice to me when he's up here. Two days ago, I was working on trying to take content photos in this chair, in this room, and he was crying at me the whole time until he got up on this chair. Usually he's crying at me when I am doing my makeup because he thinks I'm leaving him. He has very bad <laughs> separation anxiety. But right now he's just vibing. You just vibing, brother? All vibes, no thoughts. If you are ever thinking about getting yourself a golden doodle, just note that they have a lot of love but they um, also have a lot of needs. to a med spa which I only vlogged a little bit of and the first time I went I was just going to kind of meet the people there because they invited me to create content and I wanted to make sure it was aligned with not just myself but for you guys because I want to create like content that makes sense and that's like informative and useful if you're thinking of getting like a med spa facial or laser hair removal for people who got melanin you know like that's stuff that I don't even really know that much about other than the chances of scars and all the like different myths around so um it was aligned so you guys will be getting content so definitely be sure to follow me on my other socials if you want to see that because i'm mainly going to be posting on like tiktok and instagram for those but i'll try to take you guys along for vlogs as i can then i had a hole in my ceiling <laughs> did go to breakfast in a little sweatsuit and some uggies like a little basic girly but i'm cozy and that's what matters also shout out to my valentine's day hearts i actually feel like I can somehow, maybe without the Uggs, make this into like a cute little aesthetic photo moment for Instagram. Once again, we're back at my vanity. Right now, I am about to clean my makeup brushes because I haven't done that in like the past two weeks, I think. If you're curious about what I use, I have a dedicated loyal girly, okay? So once I find something that works, she's sticking to it, okay? If the milk ain't spilled and if the glass not broken, what's the actual saying? If it's not broken, don't fix it. Hi Lulu. Hi Lulu. 
see. She's got a little bit of an injury. But she's doing great. You're doing great. Hi, Lucy. Tell everyone hello. Hi, loves. I am now at Sam's parents' house. I am by myself right now because Sam went out to go pick us up tonight. And his parents are going to a cool little masquerade party tonight, uh, which I think is so cute. So I was able to see them before I got here, which I'm happy. Um, and now I'm getting doggy love. Now she's just a girly sandwiched in between two pups. Hashtag girl therapy. We had a leak, so we had to come get it fixed, but the guy who was coming to fix it was kind of a character, to be quite honest. He was something else. But he fixed the leak, but he put a hole in our ceiling in order to do that. So then we are having contractors this week come to fix the hole in our ceiling. Um, and then I traveled to Philly. Um, so if you guys have seen on my Instagram, I did meet Sammy Moon, who makes really, really fun vlogs on YouTube, I think was originally how I found her. She also does have her own business. She has her own socials outside of YouTube as well. Um, and it was really, really nice meeting Sammy. So hi Sammy, if you're watching this. I, of course, failed to vlog my Philly trip, so I have little clips here and there. Um, some fun moments, but I didn't vlog anything with Sammy myself. However, I am in her vlog. So if you wanna see that portion of my Philly trip, then be sure to go watch and subscribe to Sammy's channel. And now we are standing here and it is Tuesday the 20th. I feel like I haven't vlogged pretty much all of February, but um, I've had a really good month. It's just been super busy and in between all of these things, I started a vlog and then would stop it because I'm mainly just on my laptop all the time. So I am going to do like a girly night with me um, to kind of catch you guys up on this, but also give you guys some content for this week. I've had a really great day and it's really weird because usually Tuesdays, um, I like work out in the morning and then don't really start doing content until the evening but this morning I decided not to work out because I also was having belly issues yesterday from traveling yeah so I gave my body a break today um, but I was able to film some content in the beginning of today including it's like barely here but I did buy myself that like viral TikTok lip mask and I think I'm gonna use it every day because I'm loving my little impossible lip. I put the entire mask on my whole upper lip and then just did the liner of the bottom but I love that it's not really a liner so you don't have to worry about wiping it off and I put a gloss on earlier so it looked a lot nicer but then I've eaten um but I'm kind of living for it. Yeah I'm gonna work on some more content tonight so I figured I'd take you guys behind the scenes. I'll also unbox a Princess Polly box that I got because I'm gonna be working with them. Shout out to my agency. Um and yeah I figured I just kind of would take you guys I keep saying behind the scenes, so let me stop. Re let me stop repeating, and let's get on to this vlog. bringing the ratchetry. I just finished filming some content and I'm currently wearing one of Sam's old shirts because I thought it would be fitting for one of the TikToks I just filmed but it's also cozy and it's a night shirt. I'm also very upset about the horizontal crack in this nail but honestly I hate this set of nails so I'll be really happy once I get rid of them. I'm so excited to wear them but I tried a brand once it failed me. I tried them again and now I've learned my lesson. Anyways, I wanted to quickly film before my camera dies, um, but if it does die during this, I'll film on my phone. Unboxing my Princess Polly package. I have to take photos in 
I think at least one outfit, but let me show you what I got. First of all, your girl got some shoes. Okay, can we talk about this? Got denim pointed toe pumps with a bow on them. I thought this was the cutest spring trend ever. We live for a pointed toe pump. This is honestly me in my truest form. This is how I look 90% of the time, just saying. Oh, I forgot about these. So I also chose a pair of heart studs that are big and chunky. I usually like dainty um, jewelry pieces, but I don't know, I just was really vibing with these. Got this top that is super cute. I have a similar blouse now that I'm just realizing that is tan that I absolutely love, but this one is a light pink silky blouse and I just thought it was perfect for spring. I did get this skirt that I was really excited about because I don't have one. So this is a white denim skirt. I felt like it could go with that blouse. Um, and I think it will cover the booty cheeks. I also got this top that I can pair with that skirt, and this is a black top that ties. It's so cute, so chic. But of course, you know, your girl is pink loving, so I got this corseted dress, and I also got this sweater dress. I loved this shade on mine. Hopefully it looks good on me, because this was giving, like, early 2014, 2015, Maybe 2016 Ari vibes. To go with the break free dress, we had to get some white boots that are more structured. Finally, I got some black kitten heels as well um, to go with the black outfit. She's cute, she's divine. She's